The Ministry of Health says the establishment of district wellness councils will help advance its primary health care revitalization initiative to make primary health care more organized, structured, and accessible to communities. The formation of district councils will be piloted in St. John and St. Mark. Minister for Health and Wellness Honorable Jonathan Lecret says it is important to ensure that citizens can access basic care Hence, the government's move to revitalize the system through enhanced infrastructure, access to medication and medical supplies, among others. The revitalization or the reintroduction of our district wellness councils, primary health care teams, is a plus for the health sector. And I want to say to all of the volunteers, because there is no stipend attached to members being on the council or serving, I wish that we could at this particular point in time fiscally we can't so it's just pure volunteerism and i want to say to you hats off for your commitment to ensuring that your respective communities benefit from this primary health care initiative and from the policy making level and from my cabinet colleagues as well the member of parliament for st john and the caretaker for st mark I want to personally say thank you to you, whether you're retired or you're still working. It's a commitment and a dedication that you are making to ensure that the healthcare services and the delivery of same is at a particular standard. Even though politicians, healthcare policymakers and administrators, etc., are part and part responsible for the institutional and governmental structure as it relates to the kind and type of quality of healthcare services that is meted out to the individuals who need it the most. There is also an individual responsibility on the individual citizen to ensure that your personal wealth is your health. Senior Medical Officer Dr. Kerry Ann Renault said the councils will establish a better working relationship between the communities and the Ministry of Health. The intention is to get the community involved in identifying health needs and collaborating to find solutions. A major initiative that we've decided to embark on is to re-establish the strong link between our primary health care teams and the communities they serve. And this was the case in the past when Grenada was recognized as one of as having one of the most exceptional primary health care systems in the region. So we want to get back there. So to achieve the community participation that we need, we've decided to form our district wellness councils. Now, these councils would work closely with, in fact, as a part of the primary health care team to stimulate communities to become active partners in identifying and addressing local health issues. So that's issues that's relevant to their community, their parish, their district. It will comprise of, but it's not limited to, representatives from law enforcement, um, community leaders, representatives from different ministries like infrastructure, um, education, use. We have commu um, prominent community members, religious organizations, sports organizations, um, the utility companies, the disaster management agency, and all of these communities, that, um, groups that can have an impact in elevating the health status of the people, the social determinants of health, and all of the issues that are related to primary health care. Member of the St. John St. Mark Council, David Hopkins, says there are many benefits in including the communities in the advancement of health care. He said a community that is focused on improving health is a prosperous community. People's involvement in and contribution to health systems has been recognized as critical to primary health care and as a vital component to many public health initiatives. The community can benefit in a variety of ways, including education, to encourage preventative activities against illnesses, as well as providing proper care for those who are sick. These health committees have been found to be effective at voicing community concerns about the quality of treatment provided by health facilities, managing health, these health facilities and mobilizing financial and non-financial resources to meet the needs of the community. We are the voice and the heart of the individuals this facility will serve.